Every smartphone has few tips and tricks to make it your own. Hi folks, this is Chuck Connor. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best tips and tricks available for Samsung Galaxy S8. One of the benefits of having a large phone screen size is the ability to make use of that space more productively. With the multi-window mode option, you can open two apps simultaneously in Samsung Galaxy S8. Say I'm browsing my Twitter feed and suddenly I get the urge to watch some YouTube videos. So I go back and launch my YouTube app. Now I still want to go and look at those tweets while I watch the video because I do want to keep track of some of the Twitter uh, tweets that is going on. So either I can switch back to Twitter and forget about my YouTube app or I can switch back to YouTube and forget about the Twitter app. Well now we have got much better ways. If you long press uh, the recent key you get the multi-window mode where now I can have both the apps here in my screen and keep watching the YouTube video over here and keep looking at the tweets as well and see what's going on. Now if I want to increase this you can hold the middle of the blue bar so the blue bar separates the both and you have a white bar um, here which you can see. If you hold that and move down you can increase the size so you can see the video becomes much bigger while the tweet window twitter window is now smaller and i can move that back as well also if i tap that white button white bar along in the blue bar i get more options i can switch between those regions so i get the top twitter and now the bottom youtube app and i also have the pop-out window which makes the current app, whichever is in focus, in this case the video was in focus, to come out as a pop-out window that now I can move along my screen anywhere. And the Twitter app back is back to the full screen, so I browse them as well. So this is a neat way to manage your apps and screen with uh, multitasking and do what you want to do with very less amount of work. Now this window, pop-out window, has another feature. On the, at the top you see three buttons. The first button is a pin button. So if I do this, it pins at, at, as a bubble. I can move this bubble anywhere I want along the surface. And again, I can basically keep uh, using the multi-window mode. And for example, here's the browser. I click this, I make the browser a pop-out window. Now I got that as well. And I can pin this again. Now it goes into the pin bubble. And if I expand the pin bubble, I get both YouTube and internet. Even if I go to my home screen, I have those pins. And I can open the YouTube app now, and the YouTube app still comes as a pop-out window. I can expand it. Basically now it comes out of the pop-out window mode to a full app mode. And I can go open my browser, which was also pinned, and close it if necessary. The other way to also initiate the multi-window mode is just press the recent button and select the apps with which you have the multi-window icon. The multi-window icon basically now puts into a multi-window mode where now you go back to the same uh, procedure of selecting the app in the other uh, multi-window mode region. So that's the multi-window mode in S8. So how do you enable this multi-window mode? Multi-window mode is enabled by default, which means it's already there. But if you want to check it out, you go to settings and advanced features, you have the multi-window option. Here you can select few options to customize it. I would rather leave it as such, but if you do want to change that behavior, you can have use recents button to snap window, meaning that it will just create a window on top or you get to the split screen view like we just saw on the demo. You can also use the pop-up view action, you can enable, disable it. So that's enabled by default and you can also select to disable it uh, action. And you can see that over here, which also can be enabled using a gesture. The next tip is how to quickly launch the camera in your Galaxy S8. Previously in Galaxy devices, we had a home button at the front of your device, which you double click and you open the camera app. Now with Samsung S8, we have the home button on the screen and you no longer can do that same action to open and quickly launch your camera. Instead, what we have is press the power button twice and that opens up the camera. It's that quick. So how do you set this option? Well, if you go to settings and advanced features, you have the quick launch camera option here. If you turn this on, you can quickly launch the camera by pressing the power key twice. 
Next tip I'm going to show you is using the one-handed mode. The one-handed mode helps you to reach to the top very easily to perform some actions. For example, here in my Twitter app, all of my functions are in the top bar. So I have my home screen, search, notifications, and messages. So in order to reach that quickly, I can just tap the home button thrice and I get the one-handed mode. Now I can actually make it left or right depending on which hand I use and access the topmost regions very easily. All I have to do to come out of this mode is just tap outside in that outside of the app and I'm, I'm now in the full screen. So if I tap my home button thrice, I get to the one-handed mode and I can just press outside to come out. Now how do I enable this? Well, if you go to your settings and advanced features, you have the one-handed mode option here. If you haven't turned it on, you can turn it on. And over there you have two options. You can select a gesture, which is basically swiping from the bottom corners or tap the home button three times. I find tapping the home button three times much easier than using the gesture. This is how we use the one-handed mode in Galaxy S8. The next tip I'm gonna show you is how to quickly expand and collapse the notification panel using your fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor at the back also has two new gestures. You can swipe down to open the notification panel or swipe up to close the notification panel. For example, here is it in action. If I swipe down, you can see I get my notification panel. If I swipe up, you can see it collapses the notification panel. This is really useful if you are just unlocking your phone and quickly want to scan through the notifications when your hand is already on the fingerprint sensor. So how do you set this up? If you go to settings and advanced features, you have the finger sensor gestures. If you turn this on, you can get this functionality right away. There's also an option to use and open Samsung Pay using this gesture. I haven't enabled it, but if you have it enabled, you can check that out as well. Next tip I'm gonna show you is how to keep your status bar clean. If you can see my status bar over here, I have several notification icons. It does get occupied a lot and it's very busy. Instead, you could choose to show only the most three recent notification icons instead of showing everything. Of course, all of your notifications live in the notification panel, so why do you have to see them all the time in the status bar? How do you enable this? If you go to settings and if you go to display and go bottom, you have the status bar option. And there you have the option to select to show only three most recent notifications in the status bar. Now you can see my status bar is much cleaner with just three icons. You can also show and hide the battery percentage in your status bar. The next tip I'm going to show you is how to customize the navigation bar at the bottom. As you can see, I have my back button and the left, the recent buttons on the right. Sometimes you may want to switch those, especially with Samsung devices that come with the back button on the right. So how did I change this here to be on the left? Well, it's quite easy. If I go to my settings, and if I go to display, at the bottom, I have the navigation bar option. And in there, I have several options that, to customize my navigation bar. So for example, I can choose a different color. Say I can choose black, I can choose uh, blue, I can choose pink, I can even choose gold color, or I can choose my own custom color based on this palette over here. So it's really simple now to have a background that you wish to have in the navigation bar. I'll switch back to white. You can also change the button layout, which means now I can have recent home back, which is what your Samsung device will have when you switch it on, or I can switch it back to back home recent, which is more standardized towards different Android devices. It's very useful if you are using more than one Android device, especially one Samsung and one other uh, device like Moto Z or Google Pixel. The next tip I'm going to show you is how to change the default volume key control. If you turn high or low your volume key, it actually changes the volume level of the ringtone. If you want to change more, you would have to expand this and then change the media level uh, or notification level of your phone. But what if we wanted to change the media level every time? Because most of the time you set your ringtone and level and forget about it. But the media is what you always keep changing. So to do that, you can go to settings, you can go to sounds and vibrations, and you have your default volume key control here. And that you can change back to media. And now if you come back, you can see it actually changes the volume level of my media and not of the ringtone.
The next step I'm going to show you is how to use the always on display and information face widgets in your always on display screen. So here's my always on display screen with a different theme selected and I have the icons over here showing me the notifications from those apps. If I double tap here, you can see it also takes me to the face widgets that I have and I can move between the different face widgets. You saw the media, you saw you're seeing the calendar right now and you also get the next alarm uh, widget. So we have three face widgets available with Samsung Galaxy S8. So how do I customize this? Well, to customize this, you go to your settings and go to your lock screen and security and at the bottom you have always on display and information and face widget always on display has few themes available uh, when you configure your samsung galaxy s8 you can also download several themes from the store which i will show you in a moment the information and face widgets option enables you to enable the face widgets in your lock screen and have music controller today's schedule and the next alarm we only have three right now maybe samsung may give us more uh, in the future but these are really helpful in your lock screen to quickly glance and look at what's happening um, maybe you want to pass and play your music or look at your calendar or look at when is your next alarm in your device so in order to get more always on display themes in your settings you can go to wallpapers and themes and there you can browse all of the always on display available and the always on displays one of the one of the things you would have to do is you have to apply the theme from this app for example let me go to uh, my page which will show me what are all the purchased items i have and there in my always on display you can see all of the downloaded always on um, themes and one of the things you have here is you can select the always on display and apply so when i apply it's going to say hey what do you want to choose the clock or the image and i'm going to say image and click ok and now i can go back to my always on display in my settings lock screen and security always on display and now you see the spring boy theme selected for my always on display i can select that and i can also choose styles between uh, what styles i have in the selected theme so i have a simple image i also have the um, image with the clock and the notifications so i can select that and click apply and now if i actually lock my screen you can see the new always on display coming up with the face widgets by double tapping and i have the media i have the calendar and i have the next alarm the next tip i'm going to show you is how to capture a screenshot in your samsung galaxy s8 if you hold your power button and the volume key down together that will take a screenshot or if you just swipe your palm along along the edges that will also take a screenshot to enable the palm swipe feature you go to the settings advanced features and you have your palm swipe to capture so if you have enabled that you can do a palm swipe to capture a screenshot the next step i'm going to show you is how to schedule the blue light filter automatically for sunset to sunrise so if you go to your settings under display you will find the blue light filter the blue light filter is usually used during the nights to ease your stress so you can watch your move, favorite movie or just browse your cell phone without stressing your eyes. Here you can turn it on now which means it's enabled right away or you can turn it off and turn on as scheduled sunset to sunrise. You can also do a custom schedule but I always leave it to sunset and sunrise because it's much easier and I don't have to worry about a lot. And those were the top 10 tips and tricks for the new Samsung Galaxy S8. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments, please share them below as well. Until next time, bye.